Hello, hello, one and all, and welcome. Welcome back for episode three of Evil West. Now, at the end of episode two, we had a literal bombshell dropped on us. It may be our daddy has been bitten, and may be a vampire familiar, or turning into a vampire himself. But, in addition to that, we also have some wriggly monstrosities of unknown origin sent out in a convoy from a sawmill that we need to investigate what we're going to be doing this episode i have no idea i thought i had it all worked out last time and that went right down the long drop also i found a shiny march 1866 the war between the states might be over but the larger war the secret war continues. Many men still suffering from the toll the war took on their spirits, souls, and bodies find themselves vulnerable to the Sanguizuja's vicious predations. Because of that, we must ramp up our efforts. Our scientific research team has been working on a device that might finally give us an edge in this fight. As part of this effort, I am officially promoting Agent Edgar Gravener to take my place in the field. I, of course, will continue on from the home office. Thank you all for your service, and may the good Lord watch over and protect us. Director William Rentier. William Rentier. Oh, Daddy! I am just having a look around before we continue and making sure we're not missing any collectibles. So vulnerable. Well... We might actually have to put a bullet in him if he turns out to be a vampire. So uh, just you know, keep your keep your thoughts open about that. Okay, so here we are, the secret underground lab, hidden behind a massive whiskey cask. Damn, that must have held a lot of whiskey. Well, you can only hope it was full at the time, can't you? Good to see you back, sir. Be careful there, Mr. Rentier, sir. Burke is working. A silence before... Oh, where is it? Where the hell did I put it? Get out! Get out! Oh! Oh! It's you. Oh, excuse I'm... you! Terribly sorry, Mr. Jesse. Hi. Just seeing how things are going. They're going, but they'll go even better if people stop interrupting me. And no offense, Mr. Jesse. But nah, I understand. Quiet time to concentrate. Oh, collectible. Monsters. Shit. More of a demotion than a promotion. <sighs> you must have been a real bad. pain in the ass. Of yours can help turn the tide if we can get it running. Oh, okay. So Agent Hall has just talked all over my collectible then. Somebody might need to have a slap. Ooh, gold. Do you have a moment, sir? It's a tragedy that DeBano's head was taken. We lost so much knowledge. God, imagine what we could have learned. Six centuries of knowledge would have been an amazing contribution to the Institute's database. So, did I have a moment so you could have told me that losing the head was a huge loss to scientific knowledge? Okay, that, that, yeah, just adding salt into the wound there. Adding salt into the wound. That's what worries me. It's not something you can orchestrate overnight. We've been fighting each other for centuries. Like every other creature, they change over time to get an upper hand against us. Ooh, okay. So no collectibles, but you're going to drop a knowledge bomb on me? Until recently, the Sanguisus reproduced by turning their familiars. A slow but effective process. But now there's this new breed. <sighs> Popping up like rabbits. They're fierce and resourceful, but still not anything we can class as an evolutionary step up the ladder. Well, if anything, they're a step backwards, mindless and bloodthirsty. They're cannon fodder. This is DeBono's idea of an army. Humans turn to minions or whatever foul blood beasts they'll end up being. Foul blood? Precisely, sir. Splendiferously observed. Well, I guess to know for sure we have to investigate McCallum's sawmill? McCallum's won't be an easy nut to crack. Without a working gauntlet, we can't penetrate its glamours. 
Guess it's high time to check up on our resident genius. God, why do I have to be such a pig? Paper, paper everywhere. I can't find shit in here. Oh, hi! Holy moly, where are my notes? <clears throat> As we all know, Faraday's mutual induction phenomenon. Virgil, take it easy with the jargon, please. You're talking to a field agent. <sighs> Diamagnetism, polyphase system. Uh, you sure you don't want to hear my radiography joke about... Uh, never mind. Here it is. Long story short, I reverse engineered the disruptor mechanism and identified the problem. Its energy consumption is off the charts. Best engineer in the Institute, huh? Well, before you jump down his throat, perhaps we can give Virgil a chance to explain himself. Miniaturization has its limits. If you want a working disruptor like this, you have to accept the fact that it won't be, well, portable. Like Amelia so kindly pointed out, I'm a field agent, as in I go out in the field. If the gauntlet's not portable, it's useless. I don't mean to put your ass over the fire, but... Apparently you do. But, if we don't get it running, we're all done for. Can you make it work? Well... Maybe if I could somehow get my hands on some spare coils from the original Disruptor... Done. Where can I find them? Got reports about a visual anomaly in a mining town called Baxter. It turned out to be a glamour. Director Rentier sent me there to deliver a crate of heavy electrical coils. They were designed to help our engineers disrupt the illusion. Unfortunately, before the team could collect any relevant data, the cell was destroyed by the ticks. Whatever they were hiding must have been important. They left no one alive. How will I know these coils, Birch? Just look for a miniaturized electrical resonance. Okay, transport. okay, that's not gonna work. Pack your shit, kid. We're out in five. I'll go down first to clear the way. Try not to get killed or Blackwell skin me alive. Right. Roger that, Mr. Jesse. I love Virgil so much and this game throws you so many curveballs i bloody love this virgil is my kind of nerd oh can i actually drop down and go see or is that just gonna be a roof that might be an unstable roof oh goodies cash that's some heavy machinery there wonder if i can get it working Dear Alice, I hope you and the children are well. Yesterday we came across something down in the mines that I can't explain. Imagine a wall of gemstones harder than diamonds. Angus tried to break it apart using dynamite, but it didn't budge. The higher-ups instructed Angus to use a much larger charge, but all that did was cause a cave-in. Many men were lost, Angus and Eastwood among them. That doesn't sound like a glamour. That sounds like a physical barrier of some sort. Maybe an evolutionary trait, like diamond skin. Oh, hello. They're going to be full of ticks. Yeah, they're full of ticks. Beautiful. Okay, I think that's the first wave. So, somebody did actually quite helpfully point out that in able to get things airborne, which I was talking about last time, I literally just charged the gauntlet. So, hopefully, we can get that demonstrated again at some point today. This is pitch black, damn. So it looks like down's gonna be the one way. Something blue in here. Oh, there we go. Charge. I'll need that. 
Right, let's see what's down here, shall we? Fun and games. Oh, it's Virgil. I was literally going to pop a cap in Virgil's ass. The coils? No, they must have transported them somewhere down those rails. But look what our agents left behind. Huh. I'm going to take it for a test drive. Thanks. What is it? This electrical device blasts the electrical discharges temporarily disabling and electrocuting the enemies. While being perfectly harmless to humans, it needs to recharge before uses. Press Y. Ooh. Oh, I uh Keep getting stuck on things. Yep, same story as last week. Keep getting stuck on things. You should be dead. Oh, God, hello. There we go. That's how I aim. Beautiful. Oh, hey up. There we go. That's what I was going for. Like the haymaker. Boom. Followed by ripping your ass in two. Oh, I love this. I love this so much. I get very carried away when it comes to like the conflict and the violence. But just I love the combat. 1890 Baxter, with the creation of this new invention, a new era has arrived. This marvel of modern science will empower us in ways we never could have imagined before. Like the invention of the repeating rifle and the Gatling gun, it will revolutionize our ability to wage war against our natural enemies. I will take a Gatling gun if one is on offer. It's got a control box up there. So we've got like a little platform puzzle. We have some up there first though. Oh, we've got a few things up here actually. Money. Yeah, love me some money. So that's to jump across. Oh, I know this one. Yeah, A. Beautiful. Okay. I say I know this and then hit the wrong button completely. Right, so that needs to get shifted. That needs to get pushed down there. So that puzzle is very simple, very straightforward. A bit too simple, a bit too straightforward. Dear Alice, I'll soon be returning home as the mine has been shut down. Agents of the Rentier Institute showed up and ordered everyone out. No one knows what they're doing down there, but there are strange things afoot. Today is my last day, and I am glad of it. There's something evil in the darkness of that mine, and I look forward to leaving it behind. Yeah, this is a bit too straightforward. I'm not trusting it. Ooh, health. Which leads more into the concern something is not quite right here. Almost there. Gotta get to that other switch. Yeah, this is a bit iffy. Oh, and I'm collectible. A medallion. Artwork looks Indian. What is that a picture of? I'm going to say a vampire. 
Just going by the elongated fangs and things. Down those rails. And how would I do that? Oh, we shift this. Nah, we shift this. It'll be fine. I want to let go because I don't want to get crushed against the wall. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. I didn't want to get crushed against the wall then. And the game's like, trust me, I will not let that happen. I know you gaming logic, you'll betray me. Gosh. Now we're good to go. Beautiful. So this is powering everything on. I think I found a shortcut. How did you get there? Well. Uh, of course it's not working. Luckily, you have a faithful sidekick who can kickstart that thing. Virgil's trying to kill us. Beautiful. Oh, can't use my Y so far. Beautiful. Get the TNT. That was painful. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, fudge. Come on, some light, there we go. Environmental, I did promise. I've got a screamer. I've got a screamer. Oh, okay. Screamer has died. I thought I heard somebody screaming. It might have been death throws. Can't get up there at the moment. Yes, environmental. I need to work on getting more of those because they do loads of damage. So it'll probably make some of the fights go a bit more efficient. Oh no. Nope, can't be too easy. Yeah, so it looks like no, one of the, Ah, there it is. So we need to start heading up. But let's see if we've got any upgrades we can buy first. Oh. Don't want to miss that. No, 1300. We can't afford any upgrades at the moment. Okay, I will see you at the top. Unless anything fun happens and then we'll jump straight into a fight. Okay, so here is switch one. Got the second one. Oh, I thought it was going to think about it and do a uh, puzzle there where you had to do the switches in order. Now, I can ride that straight across, but what is up here? Oh, gold. Boom. Well worth checking. And then this is the control switch. He hopes after shooting it. Shoot first, ask questions later. What could go wrong? Goodies! So 
So at the minute, we do have to go right to the top, which is a bit of a shame, because it looks like there's some, like, awesome stuff to see. But this is the second switch. Well, the second unswitched, unflipped that, switch. So that's all three now. Oh, God. Over the edge. Are we riding them down? Please tell me we're riding them down. Oh, I was going to say, if we jump into that then, it would have just shot right over the edge. Sir, are you sure about this? You said down those rails is the best way to go. Uh, maybe the fastest, but the safest? I'm not so sure. You're no fun, Verge. Jump in, we're going! Whee! Oh, I hope we get a gunfight. Who's looking after Virgil? Look out for like TNT and stuff. Oh God. Ooh. I love it. Oh, we are picking up speed. Well, Boom, didn't die once. After all. Honestly, if you've watched more than one episode of this series or any other series, you will know that is a huge achievement. Huge achievement. Very happy with that. Did not die once. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's push on. Oh, there we go. Is that Virgil or is that a... See, that looks like Virgil. Hey, are you all right? So there is another way down. But I'm sure yours was more exciting. you got to see this. All I can see is like a combat arena. With this workstation, you can easily upgrade your tech all by yourself now. Oh, wow. Have I just made myself useless? No, you're still good for comic relief. <laughs> oh, I love him. Oh, my gun. My revolver. Okay, so blaster. The electricity augmented version of the Rentier revolver that deals more damage and can make bullets ricochet between enemies. Do not have enough gold. We're about three grand short. Okay. Ah, so we can pick it up and do it anytime. Ready to roll, sir? Yes, but I think we're going to get ambushed. Come on. Boom. Back out. We need health. No, fudge move. Oh, I thought he was going to like finish me off then. Okay, I'm taking this big guy down. If my shotgun is ready. Right, we got him. We got him. Beautiful. Beautiful. Woo! Wait, are you stuck? Yeah, you're stuck. Can't go on to him. Can't, like, connect. They're stuck in the scenery, like quite literally. They should hopefully die, and then we can just push on. Uh, I'm fine. Baxter's team must have moved deeper down into the cave, sir. Along with the coils. Let's get them. 
So I'm glad to see it wasn't just the last episode. There are bits and pieces where you can actually get stuck in the scenery. And then it kind of hampers you a little bit. But overall, loving the game, warts and all. Looks beautiful, handles well. Story's great from what we've had so far. Damn ambush! I was not paying attention then. As you may have been able to tell. Oh, can we not hit? Okay, the barrels are bulletproof. Remember that. And this should be a unique chest. Ghost suit. Oh. We might have to put that on because we got a couple of ghost pieces last week as well. Got through. Oh, okay. So it looks like that's the way to progress. But there was like a bit of a cave backwards we need to explore. There leads us to believe that some kind of ancient creature is hibernating down in those mines. Local Indian legends refer to the name of Paisa, but the depiction doesn't hold much resemblance to any sandwich shoes we previously encountered. Yeah, so it looks like this is the way to progress the mission, but there was like a cave with a lowered roof. Yeah, there's this bit here. Oh, I found a combat arena. Back up. Beautiful. We got this. Oh. We got a big boy. We got a big boy. Right, we got him. We got him. Woo! So, was this like a little random arena, or is this how the mission progresses? No, this was like a little challenge arena. Beautiful. Look at that. Damn, that was an ambush. Lethal Heights. Something worth the trip. Ah, bit deceptive. Right, new perk, but we can't afford anything at the moment. So, all damage to mid-air enemies is increased by 25%. Beautiful. I really think we should do because we've got the ability to pull if it's LB and down towards us. We've got the zapper dash. We've got the zapper block, which I hadn't been using. We've got the combo. All pickups. Projectile block might be good as well. Zapper slam as well. Oh, so many I want. I kind of want to like use everything at once and i'm just so impatient right let's go back to where we left that minecart oh okay so like frozen sea love the look of that tower this looks awesome you know what because we're in the tundra 
we could try on our ghost suit. So we've got a weapon skin as well. That actually looks badass if I was a zebra. But that looks pretty sweet. Yeah, I like that. Money. And a woo. Beautiful level up. Oh, here we go. Big gun, great finish. Oh, hello. Was that planned? Okay, let's see what we've got. Great finish. Can't afford it, but performing the zapper finisher produces a spike of electricity, dropping an energy pickup. To finish an enemy with a zapper, perform either dash or pull on a near death opponent. And then we'll basically just like whoop their ass. Big gun, so we've got increased rifle by 20%. Snapshot. If the enemy is shot with a boomstick right before attacking, they take double damage. Oh, so good. All of them so good. Short circuit. Killing an electrocuted enemy yields an energy pickup does not work in supercharged mode. I mean, it's still pretty good. We're going to upgrade the gauntlet. I've made an executive decision. And we're going to go for the projectile block. Just because if we are going to get like enemy familiars with pistols and rifles, that might be beneficial. Oh, Virgil. I'll try to move it a little closer, sir. You do that. He's going to destroy the bridge, isn't he? Oh, God. No, give us somewhere to whip across. Beautiful. Whip across into an ambush. Yeah, thank you. Right, we got this. Environmentals for days. Boom. Right, oh, fudge. If you could stop whatever you're doing, please. He's going to jump in. Yeah, we need it to not heal. I'm trying to watch the enemies. Oh, fudge. And also make sure I'm paying attention to where this big dude's jumping. He's like a bloody bloodthirster. Out of Warhammer 40k or Warhammer. So I believe they do appear. Whoa, in both. Right, we got him, we got him, we got him. Beautiful. Whoo, shotgun finisher. Oh. I want to be in melee range, but at the same time, I don't want to be stupid enough to get a smack in the face from his wings. Ah, oh, sorry, Virgil. I just talked over you there, mate. What's that electricity there? See, they, they look like the coils. Oh, I can't believe I've just talked over Virgil. That's so rude of me. Oh, yeah, those big bloodthirster looking things. Oh, whooping the ass. Slowly but surely wins the race. I think I found the entrance, Mr. Jesse. Well done, Virgil. Is it safe yet, Mr. Jesse? Well, as long as you can grope your way for the coils here. 
Well, I'm fine, sir. The dark and messy rooms are kind of my natural habitat. Thank you, Mr. Jester. Holy moly! What the hell is that thing? Something worth putting up a damn big glamour for, I guess. I've never seen such a peculiar being. Looks like one of those dinosaurs they dug up in a desert. What's in there? This is incredible. According to these studies, it's some kind of pre-Columbian creature. The natives called it the Piazza. Scott's gonna shit bricks when he hears about this. I mean, Agent Bloom is gonna be really interested in this find. He majored in mythological creatures, but seeing it with your own eyes? Splendiferous. That freaky kid's building an army of foul bloods. How did you get roped into all this? Look here. The last entry is from the 12th of May, three years ago. That's probably when the ticks came. This ugly-ass trophy must have been important to her. It's clear she didn't want uninvited guests here. Get the coils, kid. Let's find a place where you can fix the gauntlet. Because we need it ready for action. That was suspiciously fast. You sure it works now? Uh, Mr. Renier, sir? We have a situation. I'm kind of in the middle of something. Well, it's more of an emergency, actually. Some ticks have gotten loose in the basement, and, uh... A what got out of what now? It was an honest mistake. I was taking the liberty to experiment with some ticks we captured, and things got... out of hand. Mr. Jesse, before you go all red and do that... angry maniac thing you do... Maybe we could consider it a great opportunity. You make it so hard to like you, Verge. I... You know that, right? Remember that fortuitous gauntlet malfunction that helped you and your father survive? Turns out that that malfunction is a simple override protocol. One you can now control thanks to... Well, me. You're welcome. This better work, or there's gonna be a gauntlet malfunction on your face. I ain't got time to be cleaning up every mess you nerds make. Please don't tell Dr. Blackwell about this. Mr. Renier? Yeah, we're basically going to go straight into the hardcore kind of fighting for your life situation. Love it. Also, love the nerds. Likely the reason you like blowing things up, Verge. Right, let's have a quick look around because we've found a collectible and some gold. Heard you got the coil, sir. That's stupendous. We all need those upgrades. Of course, yours is the most coils. It'll take some time, but yeah, I think Virgil might be able to build a few more. He's more than able, sir. I can't wait to see what that thing can do. So, we found a bit of gold upstairs. Just having a quick once round down here. Looks like nothing to collect, so upgrade and then basement. Come on. Ooh, so, oh, I've not got 5,000 yet. So we've got do not disturb. Or we could wait until we've actually got enough to level up like ricochet or great finish. Ah, I think blaster. We need uh, 74 more gold or 74 more dollars, then we'll go blaster. I have made an executive decision. I have been so indecisive playing this because I want to do everything, but it's like uh, in what order? Any female doctors, but I guess you can't stop progress. Honestly, it's like females in the IT um, scene and that. I've met a load of females that are in tri t and systems and they can out nerd so many nerds and it's fantastic to work with people like that kill all the monsters okay this should be fun Oh, okay, we were already clocking full power. And it only took us one charge. That was not bad. Although, it looks like we might be coming here quite regularly. 
to test new weapons because that big iron door there is probably to keep something huge in. I can't thank you enough for your help, sir. Ticks in the basement, Bloom, are you out of your mind? Sorry, sir. It, it was only for research purposes, but it got out of hand. Won't happen again, sir. I promise. Dr. Blackwell is waiting for you upstairs. Oh, is he not gonna is he not gonna ask me to say don't tell her again? It felt kind of right to be out there working so Oh Virgil. This just came in. It's from Agent Gravener. Good or bad? Private. Oh uh Speaking of bad, I found a giant ancient cadaver in Baxter. Any idea why Tix would want to hide it? A few. Why isn't Agent Bloom allowing anyone in to see your father? Security, Doc. Calico's the last working cell in the country, and we mean to keep it that way. That means closing a few doors? Well, so be it. But I'm a medical professional and the head of this cell. So a chain of command shouldn't be an issue for you. It isn't, sir. Emilia, you don't have to get all... I'd prefer Dr. Blackwell, sir. Ready for debrief whenever suits you best. <sighs> yeah, we overstepped there with a... Uh... We brought like authority into it without actually expecting her to like turn around and use it against us. Right, we can't check the tavern out, so let's go to the debrief. Yeah, that's. Uh, I hope we don't screw things up with Amelia too bad. Because there has to be a chain of command, but we're in her house or with her team. Well, let's skip to the things we're here for, shall we? creature you found in the Devil's Pass is essentially an oversized leech, a bloodsucker of sorts. Its stomach acids prevent blood from coagulation. So it's like a living container? Precisely. Moreover, according to microscopic analysis, the blood within the leech is remarkably old. Not only that, it isn't like anything <laughs> we've ever seen. And Felicity feeds it to her familiars. Ah, gotta learn more about that sawmill and how it's all connected. The McCallum Sawmill was founded in 1845 by Elijah McCallum, the definition of a small-town family operation. After Elijah's death two years ago, the mill was bought out by an investor representing the Andalusia Financial Services Group. Conglomerate of banks, oil fields, railways, you name it. What does a big fish like that want with a shitty little sawmill on the ass end of nowhere? It's unclear. The purchase itself was entirely above board. What about the forest? Old native ritual sites, burial mounds, anything? Nothing a note, no. Well, I guess I'll just have to figure this out on my own then. Thanks for your time, Dr. Blackwell. I, hope I live to serve, sir. I'll get back to my research now. Yeah, because we were hostile and pulled rank, we've really rubbed Amelia the wrong way. So hopefully, hopefully that is something we can fix in the future. But for now, for now, this, as we look out over the vast terrifying steampunkish landscape this is where we are gonna end right here although that did just say upgrade have i got enough no no i needed 74 more dollars 74 more dollars <laughs> mother fluffer honestly i really wanted to get the blaster right emotional breakdown over this this is where we're gonna end right here for today this is going to be the end of episode three we came we saw we conquered definitely getting back into the swing of the combat definitely getting into the swing of using melee over anything else because the melee bar pardon the pun really packs a punch ba -bum -bum but i'm loving it as i said story looks beautiful scenery looks beautiful gameplay looks and handles beautiful this is just the full package and i am enjoying it so so much but what do you think have you tried evil west is it something you've played something you've completed or something that has piqued your interest let me know in the comments down below for now for now though i have been phil aka philodoxical you have been awesome and no matter what you decide to do have a great time gaming bye Hello, hello one and all and welcome, welcome to my channel.
My name is Phil, aka Philodoxical, and I hail from the UK. I'm a content creator, streamer, and all-round self-proclaimed multiplayer badass. Or, as the saying goes, a jack of all trades, but master of none. As you might be able to tell, I'm a variety gamer who loves everything from FPSs to RPGs, top-down tacticals to puzzlers. With a can-do attitude and out-of-the-box creative thinking, I'm always up for challenging myself and pushing boundaries. Whether you are looking for playthroughs, reviews, the latest for honor executions, or hints and tips, I'm sure I'll have something that might pique your interest. And if that has not hooked you yet, did I mention I'm an expert in diplomatic negotiations? Dealing with stressful situations. Duh. Oh! Oh, God! Oh! Oh, oh my God! Holy shit, I think I just crapped myself. <laughs> and I'm always up for fundraising for fantastic causes. If you get a chance, check out a video or drop a follow to be kept up to date with our latest adventures. And now though, no matter what you decide to do, have a fantastic rest of your day and happy gaming.